All right, talking corners, you knew this one was coming. The most underappreciated sauce is what? Hot sauce goes with everything. I like barbecue sauce as well. One position that got a big facelift in the offseason, that was cornerback. Let's work in reverse order. Let's start with the draft. Number four overall, Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati to Florham Park. Hot Sauce Gardner selected number four overall out of Cincinnati in nine interceptions in three college seasons there at Cincy, two of which he returned for touchdowns in 2019, listed as 6'3", 200 pounds. Gardner had three interceptions, three sacks, and four PDs last season. He never allowed a touchdown catch over the course of his college career. As new teammate DJ Reed says of Gardner, he's got elite characteristics and plays with great eye discipline. He already looks good wearing that number one. Yes, he does. Actually, this is funny because DJ Reed signed with the Jets. He wears one, then now he's wearing four sauce. Gardner gets his number one. How about Reed, though? Because he was a big time free agent addition and he played extremely well for the Seahawks. Yeah, single digits uh, looking good out there for the Jets. The Jets not only have Gardner, but another spicy defensive back in the aforementioned Reed. He'll reunite with Robert Sala as Sala was the 49ers defensive coordinator in Reed's first two professional seasons with Frisco, of course. Last year in Seattle, Reed, who's 5'9", 188 pounds, he limited opposing quarterbacks to complete just 46.2% of their pass attempts where he was targeted, which was third most among qualified corners. Reed had 78 tackles in 2021, along with 10 PDs and two interceptions. It was a career year for him. He will bring the strain, as Salah says. He's gonna work his butt off, and you'll be able to feel DJ Reed's intensity. It's kind of ironic that Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed are kind of opposites in terms of physical traits. Sauce, a taller, longer player. DJ Reed, a shorter, scrappier player. Both very good corners. And for your camp spotlight, EA, you're gonna go with one of those two guys or are we gonna go elsewhere? Come on, you take a player number four overall and your eyes are obviously gonna go to number one, Ahmad Sauce Gardner. But let's talk about the Jets' depth here for a minute. You have to go a ways back to find a time the Jets entered a season with a better situation at cornerback overall. Remember, Bryce Hall led the defense with 16 PDs last season and led an entire team in snaps. Brandon Eccles started as a rookie, hit two interceptions, and his nine PDs tied for sixth amongst all rookies. Nickel cornerback Michael Carter, he had 71 tackles as a rookie, and the Jets have a solid backup there at the nickel in Javelin Guidry. Last season, the Jets tied for 30th in the NFL in interceptions with just seven, and they were 27th on third down. The Jets are better equipped to win in crunch time when it comes a one-on-one -on -one football game on the outside and at the nickel spot. The Jets quarterback's room, one of the positions that really got a big facelift in a very good spot compared to where it ended last season. For more coverage, stay right here on NewYorkJets.com.